Hey everybody, thanks for checking out the channel. We're going to install our King Swift Wi-Fi range extender with Omni directional antenna. Stick around. All right, several things we got to think about before we in install our router is what's the best location for the antenna on the roof? How's it going to best uh, fit the unit with the least amount of disturbance? So I want to go out on the roof and look at all the options for installing it. Maybe we can fish the wire down the refrigerator vent on the roof uh, without doing any roof penetrations for the cable because we gotta, we got to feed this cable somewhere to get it into the camper. So what's going to be the best option for that? Um, and if that's not an option where would be the best location for the router in the camper so we got to mount this antenna on the roof in a good location with the least amount of disturbance of the roof without penetrating if we can uh, and that's another thing we got to consider so let's go on the roof and see what we got but before we do that let's look around for options for the router because the router needs electricity so it has to be near an outlet so as we look around in the RV we have several options this is the back of the RV where the ladder would be because it has a ladder mounting bracket for the antenna but then we got to fish that wire in somewhere through the wall through the roof um, and I'd like to avoid that if I can so if we had to do that we could mount it uh, on this wall near an outlet up here let me get the router all right so we could mount the router here however you know this is a bathroom so it gets some moisture not the best place but if if we had to it would be a good place um we could also go on the opposite side of this wall however this would be a nice nook and cranny to have it here or here i moved the slider out so we could see what it's going to uh, make sure we can't interfere. But we got to have cables and wires to power it up. And the, the coaxial cable has to go out to the roof. So this doesn't look like would be the best option. There's no AC outlet here to plug it in. Uh, another thought would be over here by the refrigerator vent. This might be an option somewhere here. However, it is kind of an eyesore when you walk in the RV. It's right there. Um, and you got to have a cable go into the outlet. So we could put it back here, but then this is kind of like a backsplash area. You know, that wouldn't be the best place for it. We could mount it up underneath the cabinet out of the way. That wouldn't be a bad spot. You wouldn't see it. But if you want to put a paper towel holder there or something, that might interfere with something like that. But this is not a bad option. Could mount it inside here. Up here or right here that's thought but if you want to get a Ethernet cable hooked straight in right here you got to have cables running out um, this is going to ultimately be a workstation for my computer when uh, we want to do computer work so wouldn't be a bad idea to have it right here you got a, an outlet right there then we just have to fish the wire in somehow these are thoughts and another one is the bedroom the tv's right here so what if we put it here we got an outlet and we already have something here with a cover that we could fish another one through if we need to this might look good and the question would be how do we get the cable there co coaxial cable here can we fish it through the roof somehow what's going to be our best option those are things we got to consider before we drill any holes so let's go on the roof and see what we got all right we're out here at the back of the rv this is our ladder to get on the roof so let's check that out all right we're on the roof we just came up the ladder so this is one option to put the antenna right up here on the the ladder all right we're here 
this is the area next to the bathroom where the slider was the bathroom's right here and the slider's here so that would be easy to fish the cable in through this see here look at that you can fish the cable in there that would be easy no penetrations but where would you mount the antenna I mean you could mount it on the ladder then run it down the gutter that's an option and then slide it through here that's a seriously good option what was the other plan the other plan was on the other side of the slider where the kitchen is we could run the cable in here and mount it right next to the kitchen that's a definitely a favorable option then the other option was inside the bedroom next to the TV the TV's mounted here so we got to fish be able to fish the cable to get it to that outlet now I don't know if that's gonna happen because there's no way to see inside the attic to fish the cable so if we want to mount it in the bedroom we have to put a hole in our siding that would seem to be the only way to do that what was the uh, final option the final option over here by the entrance here's the entrance however there's nowhere to run the cable in nowhere to mount the antenna we could mount it here where would we fish the wire if we wanted to fish the wire through the AC I mean the refrigerator vent that's right here so we have to mount the antenna to the side of the slider and when it closes it would be moving the cable in and out hmm things to consider okay. back in the camper when I was on the roof I was looking at one of the domes that uh, open up and I saw this little cutout for like running maybe a wire through there um that's a thought i could drill a hole through the side of this curb silicone it run the wire here or on this side drill a hole run the wire here along the ceiling to this area here where we can run the coaxial to the router wherever you want to put the router I think that's a pretty good option and I can mount the antenna either to the side of the vent curb or the AC unit you should AC units a little bit farther away though too bad there's not a, a open vent here we could also cut a hole and run the, the cable through the ceiling here to mount it right here so well things to think about this is the area I was talking about with a little cutout could run the cable through the side drill a little hole through the side here run the cable down there I really like like that option the other thought was this skylight in the above the, the center of the kitchen the dinette area over here, the stove and the uh, cabinets over here. The problem with this, how are you going to get the cable through there unless you drill a hole through here? guess it would work, but when you go to replace it, what do you do with the cable? Because <clears throat> that will be replaced, have to be replaced. You guess you have to disconnect it and drill it through the new skylight. All right, another option I didn't even think about till just now was the dinette is here. This is where I'm going to be working with my computer most of the time. Um, and the out there's another outlet right here to the right of the dinette. There's the door 
there's a, another outlet right here. Here's an option right there. I like that. Even there, we're closer to the outlet, whatever works. Here's a bonus. There's the bonus. Say I ran the cable up the ceiling here. There's a vent. There's a vent. So we could literally drill a hole through the side of this curb. Drill the throw here. Now we see what that cutout for. It's a power switch for a power fan. So we open this guy up if you want. You run the fan. So that would be an issue uh, to change this to a fantastic fan. But you can always disconnect the cable right here. Pull it out. Put the fantastic fan. Drill a new hole. Run it back through. So definitely I like this option right here. I think this is going to be our, our spot. And the AC unit is right there. That's where we're gonna we can mount the antenna to and be right in the center of the camper. The router's right in the center of the camper to send the signal to wherever you're at, whether you're in the bedroom, obviously right here in your recliners, or having dinner, or in the bathroom. It's exactly in the center. I think I'm gonna run this by Sherry. I think it's gonna be it. Talk to Sherry and she's okay with what decision I make here <clears throat> I also looked at running the wires through up through the AC unit instead of having to uh, come through the vent but there's good and bad both ways the good thing um, would be I probably could find a hole up there that's covered wouldn't have to drill anything. And if I did have to drill anything, it'd be covered by the shroud. I'd remove the shroud and, you know, do uh, the hole and run the wire here. But the negative is I got longer distance to get to the outlet where I want to put the router. So I had to run a couple options. I'd have to run straight that way and then run along the ceiling there and then come straight down, which would take a lot of wire. Or I could come at a diagonal angle which wouldn't look very professional um, but the benefit again would be the hole would be covered by shroud the option here is I can mount the antenna to the shroud on the AC unit on the roof so that's a good thing and it's a short distance actually the shroud comes out right here and the wire it would be a, a lot less wire running to here to where I cut a hold in the curb of the vent and come straight out. I can come uh, straight out behind the switch, the fan switch, and come down here and then do a straight line from the corner of the fan to the across the ceiling to the wall and then straight down and install the router here. So that seems to be the route I'm going to go because of uh, a couple of reasons. The main reason is uh, the wire is going to be here and then there and then down or diagonal which wouldn't look good and then down versus and you'd have to take the AC shroud off and that's extra work find a hole. It'd be, I'd do it that way if I could hide the wire completely. It would definitely be worth it but since I'm going to have to see more wire this way I'm thinking the best thing to do is this option. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to go on the roof and install the antenna and uh, the antenna mount and install the antenna and then run the wire to this curb, drill a hole through the curb of the uh, little skylight vent opening and then drill another hole through here. So we got a hole in the curb coming straight over here straight down that way there's a, definitely some more options if I really wanted to I could take this whole thing down but I mean it wouldn't hurt to look but there's insulation here 
try to fish the wire down that way and then out of the ceiling there don't know maybe I'll look into that all right I removed this shroud around this fan to expose the attic but there's a 2x4 or stud blocking that access that way and there's wires all along there uh, so I can't really see that way so that I'm just not gonna be able to do that so we're gonna do the rough rough end version all right now we're gonna mount this bracket to the side of the AC shroud all right I'm not left-handed so here we go So here I just mounted this bracket to this plastic housing. Not an issue. Now we can mount the antenna. I'm installing the omnidirectional antenna. So here we're going to drill a hole right here. So we can't go too high. Well, you know what? I need to close this vent and check on that. See how low I can, how high I can drill this. Because the higher the better. For uh, less chance of water getting in. Based on the discoloration, it looks like the vent stops right there. Let's go inside and check. I'm going to close this vent. Alright, now we got the vent closed. So looks like we can go pretty high this is a good thing there's that and I went ahead and, and ran this wire down here although I don't like it hitting this metal I think I'm gonna go into the second one not the first one Making it flap around. So then we'll run the wire up through here and connect it. Alright, now we're back inside. We're gonna run the screw gun and drill a hole through that. Let's see if we can do that. Feed the wire. Now I'm gonna run the wire up there. Here we go. So I'm gonna go on the roof and put it put it through the curb hole. Because I can't do that from here. Alright, now we're on the roof. We gotta get that wire through the curb. Let's see. Right there. We're through. So I want to try to slip this red rubber grommet to stick it around this wire so it won't chafe right there. So this came with it to cover this tip. Had a little nipple in the end, so I cut the nipple off. So I try to slide it past the cable all the way over here. Hopefully this will work. Because you know, if a wire goes through a metal hole and there's no stability in the wire, it's going to move around and the metal 
will cut the wire. All right, I got it in. Look at that. Look at it from this side of here. It's in there. Great. That'll protect that wire. Couldn't have designed it or bought the right part better. This is really good. All right, so now we can feed the excess back in there. Here's our connection. That's it. According to the instructions, got some sticky glue stuff to hold it down on the roof, keep it from moving around. All right. Nice. That looks good. Looks like it's going to hold it just fine. And I could put a little bit right there. Steal a little from right here. Oh, that's, I think that looks great. I think I need to take a class on RV repair. Maybe I can help people. All right, now we have the wire running out of the vent. Now we have to run it toward the wall and get it to stay there. So I don't have the pieces uh, to do it the right way with the little uh, little wire uh, brackets that you can fasten to the ceiling, like with little tiny finish nails. I don't have those and you know we're trying to social distance so we'll just let it hang uh, for today until we can get over there and get the right parts so then we need to mount the router right here so I just got to decide where I want it I want it here and have wires running down or have one wire down and the one over to the AC plug what are we gonna do all right I think this is where we're gonna do it that way the ceiling cable will come here, route behind it, and then I can put the excess wire right here and screw into the side. It's got to screw into the side. And then I still have enough room to move it up and take it off the screws, because I'm going to have to put some screws here to mount this on. I think this might be the... And then the power wire uh, comes out the top, so I can route that this way and then straight down to the outlet. And... Uh, I think that's going to be the best situation there. Figure out how to mount these screws. Look at the back. They're pretty simple. They're almost at the outward corner. There's a little mark right here for the center of the screw. So I can get my pencil out. Measure over. And get a screw going. Surely it's not as easy as I thought because I got the ceiling there. So let me get my drill. Let's see if I can get the screw to go in. Definitely some pretty weak side siding there. So now I need to get my tape measure and measure from here to there and that is four and three quarters of an inch so we got to come over here four and three quarters 
And then our distance from that molding is one inch exactly. Let's see, there's our little mark for one inch exactly. So we put a little hole there. Oh, we hit something a little bit there. Now we can drive in a little black screw. Okay, just to leave a little bit of space, we can get the router. See if it goes on. Nope. Too close to the ceiling. Oh, made a boo boo. Gonna have to come down more. Ah, I forgot to allow for sliding it over it and then down. So we'll do that. All right, I moved the screws down about three eighths of an inch, maybe five sixteenths of an inch down. And everything went on good there. So let's run the wire. This one goes down here. And this one goes over here. All right, that's it. I, I think that's it. Uh, plugging it in, see what goes on. For now, we'll see how it turns on before we try to secure all the wiring. But not bad these are the brackets i was talking about that i got from the hardware store i mounted the cable up to the ceiling and made it really nice and tight and clean and here's the wire going down to the electrical outlet and everything turned out really good all right as i read the instructions after getting everything installed it wants this joint need it says to have this joint inside so uh, the way I'm installing it, I can't do that. So I'm going to waterproof this joint with some plastic. I'm gonna wrap this plastic around this joint to uh, water tight it and use some of this sealant. And you can see this is very stretchy. So let me go around it several times. And the plastic is not even watered for the joint, so we need to disassemble it. It won't get a nasty mess. The whole joint is waterproof now. Not the best way to do it, but it's waterproof now. There you go. Thanks for watching RV Weekends. Everybody stay safe.